I was driving on the Golden Gate Bridge. It was a beautiful, beautiful day. And all of a sudden, I couldn't breathe. It felt like there was a tourniquet squeezed around my neck. I'm trying not to panic. I'm just trying to get some air. I, I can't pull the car over. I'm on the bridge. Get it together, brother, get it together, get it together. I was finally able to pull over into a beach parking lot. I opened the door of my car, I flapped on the ground, and this woman, she, she looks over at me, and she runs over, she runs over, and she's like, what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong? Are you okay, can you tell me what's wrong? Can you tell me what's wrong? And uh, I did know it was wrong, but no, I couldn't tell her. Because the truth was, the truth was, I had broken the golden man. Welcome. <laughs> the Snap Judgment. So, when I was a teenager, I used to do a lot of stupid things. I would run up to women I had no business speaking to. I would move to countries I'd never heard of before. I would threaten dudes that were three times bigger than me. And it was because of a trick. A trick a monk taught me. He said, Glenn, Glenn, if you've got stress here, move it over here. What do you mean? He said, like, if you're feeling something you don't want, put it on someone else. Imagine someone. So I imagined a golden man. Look just like my monk friend. Only had gold nose, gold hair, gold teeth. So if I was feeling upset, I'd put it over him. I was feeling shy, I'd put it on the golden man. When I was feeling stressed, he felt stressed. And I could go about my business. It was a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. Except for, it was a catch. I could never look the golden man in the eye. He tried sometimes, sneak up on me. But I didn't let him do it. Didn't let him do it for years. Never caught me. Till one day, driving on the Golden Gate Bridge, not too long ago, I looked up in the sky and I saw him blink. I couldn't breathe. I called my friend, the monk. I said, look, what do I do? 
He said, you need to go home. I went home. Figured that maybe a shower, some soap and some water, it'll fix this. I was in the shower, and I saw the golden man blink at me from the tiles. I passed out. Bust my head on my own bathtub. Wake up with blood coming from the back of my head. And I'm wondering, is it gonna be like this? Am I gonna be in a spot where I'm running from ghosts in my own house? I was scared to open up doors. I was scared of what might jump out from behind cabinets. It was becoming crippling. He said to go home, go home. And I thought about it, I thought, go home. Maybe, maybe, when he said go home, he meant to go back, for, go back to where it all started. Maybe what he meant was, it's time that, time I chase some Midwestern thunderstorm. Maybe it's time I got in the field with some Michigan fireflies. Maybe it's time I put a little Zingerman's Deli up in my belly. Maybe, maybe it's time my kids got to meet their grandmother. Maybe it's time I got to hang out with my uncles on the porch and eat some barbecue. Maybe it's time me and my cousins play basketball again. Maybe, maybe it was time, maybe it was time I came back home. Maybe it was time I came back home to where it all got started. And you know what? You know what? Ever since I've touched down here in Michigan, ever since, it's not the golden man chasing me. It's been me. I've been chasing the golden man. It is so good to be here, Ann Arbor. It is so good to be back home. It is so good to be back and see everybody. I am so happy to see all these people. My mama's here today. My best friend's here today. My cousin's here today. People I grew up with from a little kid are here. Jen White was here today. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't tell you how happy we are to be here. And I didn't come alone. Oh no, I didn't come alone. I brought some friends. Please say hello to Mr. Alex Mandel. To get right with yourself, homecoming special. The dangerous, the dangerous David Brandt. 